Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can create a windows 10 recovery drive now a recovery drive is very important uh, to the operating system because it's going to allow you to repair that operating system if it becomes corrupted or if it becomes unstable or non-bootable you can then boot up to the recovery drive and make repairs to the to the operating system or completely rebuild the operating system using your recovery drive and we're going to quickly take a look at how we can do that now so many people leave this out and they never complete this task but you should do this because it's going to save you a lot of headaches in the future for when your windows becomes uh, corrupted so let's take a look at how we can do this now a lot of people are probably going to know how to do this it's pretty simple to do but most people don't do it so let's just take a look so first thing you want to do is take a look at the actual thumb drive that you're going to be using um, we're going to be using uh, a 32 gig thumb drive this is a USB 3.0 thumb drive and uh, I'll be using this one for this tutorial so we've got that plugged into the computer the next thing we're going to do is click on the start button here and we're going to be typing inside here control panel just like so and this will open up the control panel now you can also right click down here and hit control panel if you want to do it that way as well once we've got control panel open you may be looking at the category options here if you have then go up to where it says view by and make a change to either large icons or short or small icons depending which one you want to do I'm going to leave mine on large for now the next thing you want to do is come down to where it says recovery click on this and once we get this area open what we want to do is we want to click on create a recovery drive now as you can see here this allows you to troubleshoot problems uh, when your PC can't start and this is really important to do so we're going to cre create one of these and click yes to the user account control now once we've got this open you can see uh, create a recovery drive it gives you all the information here now you can uh, remove this but I would advise you to leave this on it will take a little bit longer to do but this is going to back up all your system files to the recovery drive now to do this you will need to make sure that you've got a reasonable size uh, pen drive I would say uh, you can pick up a 16 gig uh, thumb drive now for a pretty cheap price so try and get yourself a, a big as one as possible so we've got a 32 bit uh, thumb drive so we're going to use that and this will take a bit of time so just be patient and let it do its thing okay so once the scan is complete you will see it's found available drives and the drive we want to back up to is our G drive uh, the C drive is our Windows drive but we want to back up to our G drive so we're going to click the uh, click on this and you can see here it must have at least four gigabytes of space so you could use an eight gigabyte flash drive if you wish if a uh, pinch but I would prefer to use as big a flash drive as possible so we're going to click on G here and go next and you can see here now it's going to warn us that everything on that drive will be wiped so just bear in mind that if you've got data on that flash drive it will be wiped so you want to make sure you back up all that data before you continue with this task so let's get uh, creating this drive so I'm going to push create and this will then start to create the recovery drive and put all the files onto our USB flash drive okay so that's the uh, recovery drive finished and ready to use so we can click finish here and we finish with this window so we can close this off and if we open up the USB flash drive you can see we have our files all installed inside here ready to go so if you have an issue with your computer and you need to restore your computer you can use your recovery drive to do so it's easy to do and I'll show you that in another video so thanks again for watching guys I hope this one helps you out 
Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. That's how you can create your own recovery drive to get you out of trouble if your computer is non-bootable or if it's adding, having issues. Okay, so anyway, so my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. It really does help me out. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you want to join our forums, you can head over to there and join for free. It doesn't cost you a penny. And if you've got any computer problems early, you can post them on our forums and we'll do our best to help you out over there. If you want to join my Facebook fan page, you can also do that and click on the like button and you'll become a fan of uh, my Facebook fan page. So thanks again and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.